Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. It's a gray day here in Central Kentucky, so I thought, good day to talk about my Zwift setup. So, uh, first of all, before I turn my camera around and to show you what my exact setup looks like, I want to talk to you a little bit about my use case. I'm a guy who has not had good luck with trainers in the past. There, I've said it. Um, I didn't like to sit and spin in the front of the TV and had a hard time being motivated. So I was really intrigued by the idea of Zwift and I knew intuitively that I wasn't going to be happy if I just tried to rig some kind of setup and to an old traditional trainer and just sat there and spin without actually having the tension be auto magically adjusted for me. So I knew I wanted to get a smart trainer, but I didn't want to invest a whole, whole lot of money. Uh, you can easily uh, spend $1,200 on a really high-end smart trainer. Uh, so I wanted to see how uh, you know little I could spend on a budget, basically uh, of, of maybe under $500, that and I actually had an iPad. So some trainers, uh, people will use their Zwift setup with a laptop. And uh, th my particular situation is I had an iPad. I wanted something that was going to be lightweight. And as you can see, uh, I can't even back up here. I'm going to have to actually move to show you how limited space that I have for a setup uh, for, for winter riding. So, so I had a little bit of space and I had a tablet, which actually I thought would be uh, really good for a compact uh, riding situation and it turned out to be exactly just that. So I needed something with Bluetooth uh, connectivity uh, but the trainer that I ended up choosing actually has both and it is the Tax Vortex Smart Trainer. Smart trainers actually typically go in the neighborhood of $600 or more. Uh, this one actually has a manufactured suggested retail price in about that range but on modernbike.com, you can actually get this particular trainer, the Tax Vortex Smart Trainer, for $410. And I uh, actually um, found a really, read several reviews, and actually I'll, I'll include a link to one um, in, in the comments below. A uh, video, actually, a uh, review, a YouTube video from Shane Miller from GP Llama. He does uh, uh, reviews on all kinds of trainers, so if you're looking for a good resource for video reviews, you want to check this out. Uh, so this one, the, in terms of limitation, it actually is limited to 950 watts of power, um, that, which actually will simulate up to a 7% maximum slope. For, for, for my indoor training purposes, I don't think I need any more than that, and I found that this has been just fine for me. I knew that I wanted to have a heart rate monitor, uh, and so if you wanted to go really, you know, uh, l lower end, if you had a phone, and I happen to be an Apple guy, so I'm an iPhone user, I could have actually just mounted an iPhone right here, but that wouldn't give me a lot of visual display. I actually also have an Apple Watch, and I thought, ooh, I'd like to really be able to do the heart rate uh, monitoring from the Apple Watch, and I could do that if I did it to the iPhone, but that unfortunately would not work for uh, an iPad at this point in time. So what I had to do is actually I had to buy a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. This one, this particular one, is called the Jar of Heart Rate Monitor. It's just something that was available on Amazon that got decent ratings and sells for about $25. But really, any uh, Bluetooth uh, you know, heart rate monitor will do. Um, and uh, then, actually, I had, I already had the iPad, so that didn't actually cost me any money, so I'm not factoring that into uh, my, my um, equation here. Um, uh, so I wanted, to, because I had this limited space, I wanted the screen to be out in front of me where I could touch and interact with it, um, you know, while I was actually on the bike. And so I needed a tripod, and this particular tripod uh, is actually uh, not the one I typically use. This is actually uh, an even cheaper one uh, that my daughter had in her uh, kit. But just you really don't need anything high end. Um, Amazon Basics, you can get a, a, a tripod for about $17, so I'm factoring that into my equation here. And then, got this handy little mount, it's the iPow iPad tri, uh, tripod mount. Uh, it would actually also work for an Android uh, tablet as well, and it would actually work for uh, an iPad mini as well as the regular uh, iPad setup. And that sells for a whopping $9 on Amazon. And last but not least, um, I ended up pro uh, going for the training tire. Uh, in my experience, if you ride with the regular tire, you'll end up replacing that tire. Plus, it's really important if you're going to use this type of uh, resistance trainer to actually have a very clean tire. So if you're going to roll on your regular tire, you've got two things. First of all, you want to clean it off really good. 
Uh, secondly, if you decide to go that route, you may end up flattening out your tire and buying a new tire anyway. So I decided to go ahead and spring for the training tire. And this happens to be a tax training tire which sells on Amazon for $36. So those of you keeping score at home, if you do all this, uh, add all this up, this actually comes to a whopping $497 uh, plus tax. So again, I'm really excited about it. Um, it it's, it, I'm just trying to give you a few different angles here. Again, I don't have a big setup in my uh, bedroom here, but this is great. And when you get in here, you go into Zwift and this thing connects right away. So I just leave the uh, trainer plugged in and it actually automatically recognizes there and recognizes the uh, power source uh, as and the cadence. Basically, you can see it's got that tax uh, vortex for both the controllable and cadence. And then if I was wearing the heart rate monitor, that would show up there as well. And I just click let's go, choose my ride, and I'm off. So that's it. If you've got any questions, please leave me some comments uh, below and I'll be happy to respond to them. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.